What is up guys? It's ya boy Rick. You guys need to step up those intro suggestions. Kak is here and today we have some huge brand new Destiny 2 Witch Queen info and this is coming from a brand new official trailer that just launched. This trailer showcases weapon crafting, goes over different exotics, names them, actually tells what they do and more. So let's just get right into that. So the first thing we see is a Guardian utilizing the new weapon crafting system. So we've actually seen this location in screenshots before, but we finally get to see it in action right here. It looks like a pretty crazy room, so you're likely going to travel here, maybe it's like the helm, and then do your weapon crafting. We see the Guardian like put down a weapon part, so perhaps you have to collect various different parts and combine them, but we actually see the fruits of his labor. So we have a legendary throne world location weapon uh, right here it looks to be some sort of auto rifle or maybe a pulse rifle and we actually see the different perks this guardian has selected so right off the bat we actually have arrowhead break being selected as the barrel then we have a range masterwork being selected so you can pick that as well apparently we have accurized rounds being selected kind of as the you know mag perk and then we have the two main perks we have triple tap being selected and it shows the final combination. So accurized rounds, arrowhead break, range masterwork, triple tap, and then lastly, dragonfly. Now, who would go and actually spend all of the resources crafting a triple tap dragonfly gun when you could do you know something so much more powerful? I don't exactly know. It didn't actually show this Guardian select Dragonfly, it did end before that, so like, maybe you can select everything and then the last perk is randomized maybe? Uh, but that does show you have a huge degree of control over what you want crafted. And that is just gonna be such a game changer, like what this means for the game going forward, the fact that you can craft what role you want instead of purely being at the whim of RNG. And then we do see uh, this weapon being used in action. You get a headshot and of course that dragonfly uh, triggers and nearby enemies explode. Then we have a preview of some of the new exotic weapons coming in the Witch Queen. Now there was a little uh, teaser trailer that got leaked early and I did a video on that but this goes really in depth into what these weapons are. So, the first exotic weapon we have here is the Grand Overture, and it says, Slug Launcher charges full auto missiles. Now, you will also notice it says, Seasons Pass Required, and it doesn't say that for the other exotics we're gonna look at, so this is going to be the Season 16, like Seasons Pass exotic. So, Season 16's next season's version of the Lorentz Driver. So, that is a, an important piece of information. Now, when we see it in action here, it actually looks like a machine gun, and it very well might be a machine gun, even though, like, from the front, it doesn't really look like one. Actually, if you slow down the footage really slow here, you can actually see the little missiles being formed. Like, it, it literally shoots, like, non-stop machine gun level, like, fast missiles. Like, each projectile is an actual missile that seems to have an area of effect that blows up enemies with this electrocution damage. Like, that actually seems insane. A machine gun that launches missiles? I mean, I guess we already have the Xenophage, but this could be the even deadlier version of that. I'm really excited to see this thing in-game. But moving on from there, we then have uh, the exotic called Parasite. It says, Worm Launcher with Increasing Damage. So, yes, it literally launches, as you can see, a hive worm at enemies. Now, when the worm hits the ground, it does look like it just kind of blows up. There was a lot of question when this was first uh, kind of showed off what the heck it will do. Like, will it be similar to the colony grenade launcher where the worm will travel around and seek enemies? In fact, we kind of see the hunter when the hunter is running through the frame in the next scene, you see like the bits of worm that, that uh, was launched at an enemy and they're kind of flying around after it exploded. Uh, so we don't exactly know too much about this weapon. The fact that it actually mentions increasing damage 
what does that really mean? Maybe it's the further you launch the worm, the more damage it does. Maybe successive hits will increase damage. There's some way to increase the damage of this thing, we just don't know yet. Moving on from there, of course, we have the SMG uh, that has appeared in pretty much every single trailer, the Ostero Striga. Now, this is going to be uh, one of the Deluxe Edition uh, bonuses. So if you get the Witch Queen Deluxe Edition, you will get access to this SMG. And we've seen some gameplay, we've had some guesses on what this will do, but it actually says here specifically, swarming projectiles trigger a toxic burst. And within the gameplay in this trailer, we see those slow moving projectiles. Like these do travel pretty slow. We actually are gonna see them, if you really pay attention, they change direction, right? So they actually do kind of seek after enemies. In fact, these very much remind me of the projectiles shot at you from the Fallen, those electric projectiles that will seek and, and you know go around corners in order to hit you. This seems like you actually get that power, but obviously it's not arc. It seems to be shooting almost like little black holes or you know toxic rounds or something like that. When enemies die, you will see they do have that toxic burst. And very similar to when you get a kill with the necrotic grips, right? It basically is like the same animation of a necrotic grip enemy dying so maybe it's that same damage maybe this actually will work with the necrotic grips just like how the thorn works with the necrotic grips in fact this could be a little bit of a preview of whatever the next kind of element you know that toxic element that's eventually going to come to destiny 2 with a future expansion and we will see during the trailer that like that damage over time seemingly Bungie is showing off that it is significant because this wizard just dies you know, from that damage over time because a, another nearby enemy died while the Guardian is reloading. So that is pretty darn cool. Moving on from there, we see some more weapons here. First of all, let's take a look at this Titan right here with his armor set, like a Cabal themed helmet. Uh, and this looks actually really sweet. But the weapon this Guardian is using is actually the Titan Glaive. So that's right, each class Titan's Warlocks, Hunters will have their own exotic glaive. So that's pretty interesting. This one is called the Edge of Action and its ranged attack, as you can see, will put down like a bubble. So similar to a Titan bubble, you're gonna put that down with your glaive. Now likely it won't be as strong, it's probably gonna not last as long, burst easier, but I'm really interested to know whether or not it will give you, you know, we weapons of light or armor of light. That could be really cool as a utility weapon. But then next up we see another glaive, the Warlock Glaive Edge of Intent, and this deploys a healing turret. So you can see that it's shot and then the healing turret will kind of send out seeking projectiles similar to like noble rounds that will hit nearby allies and heal them. So again, that's a great degree of utility, like shoot your glaive and then, you know, across the map potentially, and then you start healing allies within that area. So you could put together like a full healing build, put, put on boots of the assembler or something like that, right? And just be the ultimate team medic. That could be super darn sweet. Then we have the last new exotic glaive. This is the Hunter Glaive, the Edge of Concurrence. So it says tracking chain lightning. And we see it traveling along the ground here, hitting enemies in this big arc and just doing a ton of damage here. So this is a, just the more traditional exotic ability where it just does you know a lot of damage to a big group of enemies. So it definitely looks like pretty darn good for ad clearing. You know, how good will, will it really be? We'll have to wait and see. But then guys, we actually get a look at some different armor here. So the Guardians are running and it's kind of showing off this different armor. Uh, the Titan here seems to have an exotic chest piece. The Warlock has some exotic gauntlets and the Hunter has an exotic helmet. So the Titan chest piece is the Hoarfrost Z chest and it says Stasis Wall replaces Barricade. So you're going to see it does the animation for like a tower barricade and then instead you get this Stasis Wall with, you know, the middle one, right, is a half crystal and then there's larger crystals for the other two. So you can still shoot beyond this half crystal and hit enemies in front of you, which could be pretty darn useful. But of course, guys, that's gonna be absolutely insane for stasis builds, right? Creating this many crystals. I mean, put this down, and then if you're Behemoth and you have the, the aspect that lets you slide through them and burst 
uh, stasis crystals, you're going to create a massive stasis crystal explosion. Now, right after that, we see uh, the warlock jump over and throw two different cold snap grenades because the Osmiomancy Gloves says additional cold snap with enhanced seeking. So you thought you were rid of cold snap grenades, you thought they were nerfed, well this exotic might just bring it back because holy crap, two cold snap grenades and again with better seeking for the warlock, you know the hunter already has that aspect that gives them better seeking so that's potentially going to give that ability to the warlock now. So as you can see completely freezes these two guardians, screws them over and the Hunter uh, pops out of nowhere and it's using the Blight Ranger helmet and it says reflected projectiles deal increased damage. So what we actually see here is a Titan in the distance throws a hammer and then it's reflected back and hits the ground and kills everyone including the Titan in their super. So that is actually really crazy. Increased damage for reflected projectiles. So potentially, you know, in a PvE situation, if you go in front of the right boss with this helmet and just start reflecting damage and that boss is shooting a ton of uh, projectiles at you, you could just reflect them all and depending on how much increased damage it is, you could potentially like one phase certain bosses if they have the right attacks to take advantage of with this exotic. So this could be pretty saucy. And then at the very end, we see these three guardians jumping at Savathun. Now, of course, the Titan right here definitely has some sort of exotic helmet on, like a skull helmet that's flaming. And then I think the hunter off to the left has some exotic gauntlets on as well. Uh, but these are not shown off in the trailer. They're using them. Bungie's dropping some hints that there's some more exotics here. But again, we don't know what they do just yet. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.